Hello once again, this is your professor, Dani Araneta Cabulay, for the course Strategic Management in Tourism. And we will be talking about the goose that lays the golden eggs. Is there such a thing? Yes. I will be teaching you for this episode the BCG Matrix. BCG Matrix was created by Bruce Henderson for his consulting firm, Boston Consulting Group in the 1970s. So this, this tool was developed by Bruce to help corporations with analyzing their business units and product line. Yung kanilang tinatawag na product portfolio. It's a, you have to plot a scatter graph to rank the business units or products on the basis of their relative market shares and growth rates. So this is how it looks like. In slide 37, you will see that there are two aspects that we need to analyze. The business growth, lumalaki ba yung benta? Okay. Market share, okay. Marami ba ang nagkakagusto dyan sa product na yan? Compared to the competitors, okay. So those products that have a high market share, but the business growth is not much, they are probably your market share, uh, your cash cow, okay? So sa Tagalog, gatasang baka, okay? So if you like to look at it, no, in San Miguel, the cash cow of San Miguel is pale pills and beer. Yan ang number one product nila eh. Subukan mo stop producing pale pills and beer. Pwedeng bumagsak ang San Miguel. Yes. Then star products, okay? So these are the products that have a very high growth rate, okay? And very high market share. So usually mga fads, yung ano yung uso, yan. Pag nauso, yan ang star. It's a star product. For example, if you look at the music industry, di ba yung BTS is a product, no? Yung may may sila mga recording like Butter, for example, or Permission to Dance. So Biglang bumubulusok yan sa charts. Tapos namamatay eventually. No? Sikat lang siya for a few months. So those are star products. Same thing with iPhone. Every, every two years may bagong iPhone na lumalabas. So those are star products. After several years, they become obsolete. Okay? Then, question mark products. These are the products that are, you don't know if they're gonna be sustainable. So you're not sure if they're gonna make it or not big question mark okay low market share but high growth rate okay and then the dogs these are the products that have a very low market share and very low business growth so kumisan ito na nga yung mga produkto na hindi tinatangkilik yung mga obsolete na o kaya expired o kaya hindi na sikat okay that's why you must have heard of the expression you know where is your company headed oh we're going to the dogs so pag sinabing we're going to the dogs, ibig sabihin patapon na yung kumpanya. Yung mga produkto wala nang tumatangkili. Okay, let's look at this individually in the tourism sector, tourism industry. Cash cows, for example, these are the one units with high market share in a slow-growing mature industry. They're usually very profitable due to the sheer vo large volume of sales enjoyed despite snail pace growth. A very good example of this is uh, Hong Kong Disneyland. Alam mo yung Hong Kong Disneyland, matagal na yan eh. Lumang theme park na yan. Pero, you know, year after year, matami pa rin tumatangkilik. Ngayon na nag-open up na ang China, nag-open up na ang Hong Kong sa tourism, uh, there's still a lot of people going there. So it's really a cash cow. Okay? Among the Disney franchises. Then you talk about stars. These are products that are with high market share in the rapidly growing industry. They are market leaders in a high growth sector the hope that stars will become next cash cows um, is very possible no? so maganda kung yung mga star products na yan maging cash cows eventually an example is Seda Vertis no? right now yung Seda Vertis yun ang number one hotel ng Seda group of companies okay? or Seda hotels okay? so eventually it will become a cash cow kapag siya naging stable na at more mature okay then you have question marks. So these are also known as problem children. Their unit, their, their unit operating, uh, uh, their units operating in a high market growth rate but having low market share. They are a starting point for most businesses. So marami mga negosyo nag-start talaga sila question mark. They're, they have the potential to gain market share and they can become stars eventually. Example yung karamoan. No? Yung karamoan kasi, 
uh, sikat na sikat siya nung araw kasi di ba pinabook siya ng maraming mga reality shows abroad like Survivor Israel, Survivor Czech Republic, Survivor Australia no. Diyan sila nag-shoot ng reality show, pina-block, pina-book siya ng 6 months, no exclusive for them. So this is a beautiful tourist attraction but we don't know if kung kakagatin siya ng tourism ng tourist market or not kasi hindi pa natin na test kasi nga naging very exclusive siya. Kaya we don't know. Big question mark talaga. Okay? Then, we have the dogs. Okay? Or the dog. So, dogs are units with low market share in a mature, slow-growing slow industry. Okay? They may typically break even, bawi puhunan lang, or can also generate losses, eroding cumulative profits of other products in the company's portfolio. Okay? So, example, TJ Fridays. Dati mayroong mga branches ng TJ Fridays na isinara dahil nalulugi. So, they are basically dogs. Okay? Yung mga ibang branches ng TGI. So, they do this, uh, every three years, they do this analysis of uh, how are the outlets doing. Yung mga pinakamasasamang outlets, they really close them down. Kasi palugi. Okay? So, yung kita ng mga malalakas na outlets, eh kinakain lang ng mga lugi na branches. So, they better close them down. Okay? Ang tawag yun ay loss minimization exercise. So, let's look at one big example. For example, Kuok Properties. Ito po yung Shangri-La group of hotels in the Philippines. So, yan eh, example lang. No? Bago nagka-pandemic, gumawa tayo ng analysis. So, lumalabas na yung Ed sa Shangri-La, sa kayo Makati, Shangri-La. Yan ay mga cash cows. Yung Shangri-La Boracay is a star. Shangri-La Mactan is a question mark. And Hotel Gem, the one in Ross Boulevard, is a dog. Okay? So, that's how you see the portfolio of Kuok Properties, the holding company of Shangri-La Group of Hotels and Resorts in the Philippines. Okay? So, there is also a possibility that some products or business units may enroll, end up being misclassified. No? There is also the tendency to oversimplify the resulting classifications just because there are boundaries. No? Perhaps the most significant danger in using this tool is that the apparent implication of its four-quadrant form na pwede kang tumawid dun sa kabila. But there should be a balance of products across all quadrants. Maganda rin na meron tayong cash cow, meron tayong question mark, meron din tayo. So, try to avoid lang na magkaroon ng mga dogs. Kasi yung dogs na products, eh, medyo um, negative yan pagdating sa finances. Okay? So, here's your pop question number four. You need to answer this in the comment section below the YouTube video not later than Wednesday, next week. Here's the question. Cite one product or service of one tourism establishment in any of the eight sectors. Identify if this product or service is a cash cow, star, question mark, or dog. Then explain your answer in one to two sentences only. Okay? See you around in the last video lecture for this week.